That's not the big guy. There's still a big one. Oh, shit. See? Oh! Shit! Yeah, I should have moved. I was- I was being- I was not being smart about that at all. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. We are getting in here after a little bit of war that I've just been into trying to get uh, set up on this base and Everything just kind of broke out uh, to hell. They've been shooting mortars at me, but I've been holding my own. Um, so we're going to get this started again. We are level currently probably in like the 105s, pretty much on stuff. Um, we got one thing that we've got to get out of. Uh, the two digits get up to three digits, and that is right around the corner. Uh, so what I'm probably going to need to do here is put on some sniper rifle, but I think for the time being, I'll be good. We're going to have a little shootout with this guy. He's a come around the corner. God damn it. Come on. Reload. Okay. That was sketch. I didn't think they were going to roll up on. They're only like a level of 50 too. So I don't know why they are this crazy when it comes to what they're doing. But this is pretty much what I've been dealing with the whole time. Whereas one more up here. There we go. Okay, so, uh, I need to heal myself up. Dude, I don't want to sit in the passenger seat, especially the back seat of this car. Uh, so there's gonna be no... Uh, there's gonna be, like, no stealth to this one. They're mortaring the shit out of me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and have to make my way into the base here. Uh, no bullshit. This is gonna be the reinforcements guy. Probably our best bet to get him, uh, down and out of the count. Oh my god. Holy shit. That's a big gun. That is a big gun. Okay. Um, well, that just made it... Oh. Where is this guy? That just made it a little difficult. Where the fuck? Okay, I gotta get out of here. I am extremely injured at this moment. I'm not sure if this gun's gonna be able to get me from his location, so I just gotta get some cover. Figure out who is shooting at me, first of all. Like, there's just so much stuff going on. I am vanished, but someone had a very, very, very powerful gun up on this hill up here. And was just pumping them into me. Now that I've vanished, I should be able to get into this facility a little better. Uh, before, it was just, it was not going to work with that gun that was pretty much locked up onto me. Um, oh, yeah. One's down. Drone. He's down. There's one more up on this hill. Up there somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. I should probably have a sniper rifle of some sort. This uh, light machine gun really isn't going to do much for me in a situation of this caliber. Uh, I was expecting to get in here and have kind of like a tame, uh, you know, episode and stuff. Where we kind of got on there. Get in there and control the... Control it. It's pretty much the word control would be nice, but there's none of that right now. So let's go ahead and get our sniper set up. Uh, that way I could start moving up this hill. We've got to get this gun. I have 46 bullets of my assault rifle. And that's pretty much all we got with that. So I'm not sure how this gun's going to how this gun's gonna be, but hopefully it doesn't just shred into me upon, you know, seeing me. Because that would not be good. Okay, there's someone coming up this hill. We've got to go. I'm going to go quick. I'm going to go quick. I'm going to go quick. Oh, I, I made it without getting shot. Suck yourself, motherfucker. All right, let's, uh... This isn't going to be good. No, no, no. You don't got time for that shit, bro. I got to get this mortar guy. I don't know where in the hell he is. I think he's over here. Automatic mortars. That's why it's so good. Son of a gun, dude. I, I was wondering why it's like every second they saw me. Okay, so we pretty much got everyone. The big gun is still uh, up over there. Okay, fuck yourself. Um, no, there's another mortar guy. Oh, shit. Where is the other mortar guy? Here he is. Okay, mortar guy. Well, that might not be the mortar guy. 
Okay, he's down. Oh, this is so... You know what? It's probably that big-ass thing that was shooting at us. That's probably what it is. How he knows where I'm at, I have no idea. That is just amazing. But it's gonna be one of those where we've pretty much just gotta keep running in circles, possibly get a grenade launcher on our weapon. Oh, this is just stupid. Hopefully, if we get these uh, guys, they won't alert. Oh! Wonder if he had a rocket launcher of some sort, because that's not good. I have a feeling there's someone out here on a sniper purge somewhere. Okay, the gun does not know where... Oh! Got him. That's not the big guy. There's still a big one. Oh, shit. See? Oh! Shit! Yeah, I should have moved. I was- I was being... I was not being smart on that at all. Okay, we still gotta get this done gun. I'm gonna take the uh, silencer off so that way we have, you know, full-on power going to our weapons. We don't want any chances here. I gotta just get this guy. Is it that guy? Was it him? I think it was him. I literally think it was him. Besides this huge weapon, but is that still even up? The weapon might be down, actually. I might have got it. Oh, they are just sending in reinforcements. Oh, I think we did get the weapon. Alright, let me just double check and make sure no one's going to run up on us, because that's the last thing we need is... Uh, Guys screwing this up or anything like that. Let me go ahead and start getting these boxes. Everything seems pretty secure here. We've got what looks to be a skill point and a ton of crates in this area. This was like, oh, 2,000. Wow. Uh, this is a really difficult area. It's uh, one of like the uh, higher ranking guys. They just got a lot of guys here, a lot of heavy machinery that you got to stay out of the way. So thankfully, even with a couple days in between these episodes, I've been able to hold my own. This looks like some armory too. Should have been two skill points, to be dreadfully honest. Like, they have so many skills in this game and you can't even use them all as it is in a row that seems rather uh, pointless to have to work that hard for something that you can't even use uh, multiple of. So I'm going to see what I can get from this location. Uh, why I picked it in the first place, because they had some really cool stuff. They had a really sick, like, 9mm gun. I'm not sure in what crate it's going to be. Uh, I didn't see too many p people drop off, so it's probably going to be in this crate over here. This one or that one all the way over there. I don't think there's really any rhyme or reason. It's pretty much all random. Okay, so that was the light machine gun. I got the shotgun. And then this next box should be uh, this like 9mm submachine gun or something. It's really cool. And I really wanted to use it. Get uh, maybe like a high level submachine gun that I can start using. There it is. It is going to be the SN 9mm. So I think it just looks really wicked. Um, we got our sniper. We, I, li I like my assault rifle just, just because. Who doesn't? Who wouldn't want their assault rifle? Uh, the extended mags on those drum things are kind of silly. So I'm not going to do that. We'll give a quick paint modification. I like to... I'm, I'm really in the mood for this like desert camo that I've been using. It's like the most... Uh, I don't know, I just enjoy it the most. So let's see if we could just get as much ammo as we can here. Because going off into this next battle and running out of ammo is definitely not going to be fun. Uh, they don't really have ammo crates here, so you've just got to collect ammo. And that's kind of something you forget about until you run out of ammo. And you're like, ah oh, shit, I messed up. Explosives, whole bunch of that stuff. At least they got a helicopter, and I don't think I shot at it at all, so that's that's a plus. All right, we got a new place that we're going to go to, so let's go ahead and get up in the air and get to that location. Okay, nope, just kidding. We're back at the same hill that we just started this whole thing on, where it all went down. I got one more guy that's over here, and then we're going to hit the facility just behind this location. Where the hell is he, though? He had no... He was facing... 
How did he not see me as I'm just walking around getting all those crates? That makes no sense. Zero sense at all, but he had some ammo up here, so I'll take it. Okay, so I'll show you guys the uh, facility that we're going to be hitting. 337 rounds of ammo. That is what's up, but we're going to need a sniper now. Let's just see how this... That's a pretty slow rate of fire, surprisingly. I wasn't expecting that slow rate of fire. Uh, we got AK-47, M4, and the L-17, and I think that's going to be customized just how we had it before. So let's go ahead and perch up here. Um, I think automatic tagging is just a little too far away from where we're at right now, so we're going to have to send in the drone. We got two walk in the perimeter, as per usual. Seems to be what they love to do. Oh, and an automatic gun, level 105. So that's why it was being a little bit of a pain in the ass over there. Okay, look at, uh, they got a machine firing long range explosive projectiles. And I think that's not just one machine protecting its line of sight. Okay, so that's pretty much like a straight shot weapon, I would assume. We do have civilians on scene, so we've got to be a little bit weary of that. We've got a sniper that we could take out. I'm going to do a slow roll around the building. That way we can really congest what is going on here. How many people we have to worry about. This building looks to be enterable, so we can go inside there. Not like they have any uh, flying drones that are going around. We are completely hidden, so that's pretty cool. I don't see any outside perimeter patrol, but they definitely got plenty of guys inside. I see someone over here, but I'm just not sure. Oh, you know, he's probably inside that little guard tower right there. Actually, I don't think that's the case. I think he's outside. He's behind a rock. I think this guy was from the fight that was going on earlier. Because that is pretty weird. Whatever he is doing. And then there's the last guy. Okay. We got everyone. Good shit. Okay, so I think we already all know who we're going to go to or go and uh, get first because uh, he's just that one guy. And we're sitting at about 224 meters, so I'm not thinking there's going to be too much bullet drop. We've got a pretty good rifle, but it is going to be a bolt action. So if we miss this shot, we're going to have to reload and then, uh, you know, recorrect. So if we alert him, we are pretty much going to be screwed. So 309, at least with this guy... I could do a shot over here. Now it seems to be hitting uh, directly on. Yeah, I don't think we have any bullet drop right there. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy then. Okay, target down. Let's give a reload so that way we're secure. We got a vehicle looks to be coming up the hill, but we are... So hidden with what's going on here that even if someone comes up the hill, they won't see us. So we're chilling. We are chilling. Uh, things that we have to stay weary about is this gun. And we've got a mortar machine that's right on the corner of this building over here. Uh, so our next target is going to be this guy. 310. Beautiful shot. That's beautiful. Okay, so we're not looking like we have that much bullet drop from this location, honestly. It's kind of just gliding. Uh, we must be going with the wind or something, and it's that's with the silencer, too. I feel like I could take the silencer off, and they still wouldn't really be able to pinpoint my location. And we're really not even that far, you know, above these guys' uh, armor level or anything. I feel like if I were to take this guy out... He would be seen by this, but I'm not sure if it's intelligent enough uh, to really give a shit or if it'll call in backup electronically. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how that's going to really work. I think I'm going to get this guy. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, everyone's alerted. I knew that was going to happen, but I wanted to take the chance. It's not like anyone sees me, so... Oh, wow, look at everyone just run. 
Guys, like, that's gonna do anything. You guys are all exposed. Shit. Okay, this sniper is being a punk mother trucker. This is the reinforcements. Got him. No more re- Call aborted. Good shit. One down. Ah. Ah. Got him. There's the one right here. Headshot. Didn't get to see it though because we pulled out. Yeah, but they are not alerted. This guy has no idea where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and shoot him. Three shots and he should be down. Good shit. We got one more right here. He is booking it. I tried. He wasn't running that fast though. Steady. Okay, let's give him a reload. He's chilling right now. I think that's everyone. We've got just this one guy left and he is pretty much not moving. Oh, reinforcements got called. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Keep fucking moving. Oh. 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 Oh, I got the gunner. Even though he was slightly moving, I got the damn gunner, dude. Oh, I got the driver. Good shit. Good shit. That car is still... Car is still. Okay, I think that would have been the only reinforcements that was coming in. So, uh, even though they, they were alerted technically, we still did pretty damn good with getting that vehicle stopped there. I don't think there's anyone else in it. This guy is not moving for the life of him. Oh, we took that silencer off and I was able to get him. That's rough. That is rough. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the uh, helicopter. And uh, get on out of here. Which one is the, not the blown up one? Oh, that's that's going to be this one right here. We'll go uh, get everything down there. We should be good. That was pretty simple, honestly. That wasn't bad. When you snipe or if you go down there and if you fuck shit up, as long as you're prepared, uh, you should be able to handle it. I mean, shit might get real and your health might get a little low. Uh, but in the end of the day, it should be pretty doable. Okay, we've got some stuff inside here, and that's going to be the vest. About time, 109. Damn! We just went from level 99 to 109. Holy shit, it just put me up there. Wow, that is what's up. And what do we got, 108? That is what I'm talking about, baby. That is cool. So... Now we are probably, like, I don't know, I would say our overall gear level is probably like a solid 106 or something, which is pretty damn good. I would say that's pretty good. So when we get up to 150, that's when we're going to be able to take out those behemoths without no problem. So hopefully it keeps going after that, uh, but it's definitely going to be cool to uh, hold our own against that thing. It's going to take a good 30 minutes, which will be an episode on itself, uh, but it definitely will be fun to start ridding those off the map because that's kind of just one of those things that I've wanted. I've, I've worked on several times. It just hasn't, it has not been good um, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I can't I get my ass kicked <laughs> more than I could even imagine. So hopefully that level 150 will kind of get us to that point where we're kicking its ass. Obviously it will still take a good amount of time, but I, I just, I, there is no chance right now. Even on a level 100 behemoth, I'm not doing shit. Ooh, another skill point. That's two. That is two. I thought it was a blueprint. Wasn't even paying attention. Oh, you're going to lock it? Why did they do that? Oh, maybe they didn't. Okay. they For some reason, they locked that door, and you kind of like think that something's in there, and you're like, no. At least I got that 109 vest, though. Oh, yeah. That's... uh. 110, 109, 108, 108, 108, 108, 107, SVD, 110. They're trying to give me an assault rifle that I'll take that's a little higher, but I really like my M4A1, so I might as well unlock the next 
Skill menu, what is this? After a kill, plus one mobility. What? I need to get one more kill with this thing. Oh god, I forgot to change the uh, color. So like I said, if you get a new weapon, make sure you put that on. Because if you put that on, it's going to help you really get uh, your overall gear level up. And that's pretty much what you want to look for in this game. Because then you're just tearing people down. Uh, and it, it's just the best feeling ever. Uh, before in Ghost Recon Wildlands, there just wasn't that feeling uh that you got from from doing that type of stuff so talk about your personal space one more time i'll put a bullet in your head you'll have no personal space i will splatter your personal sp uh, space all over the walls that's a tongue twister trying to get all this ammo here because we've already seen how quick it runs out damn they got hella explosives in there that's under lock and key i gotta figure out how to um Say another word, motherfucker. That's what I thought, you construction worker. Um, I gotta figure out how, how to way to get in there, you know what I mean? That is gonna be worth my time. I don't know if it's like, uh, what's that one game? Good Far Cry. Um, and you have to do like a whole bunch of crazy shit to get in there? I don't think so. SVD 63? Hell yeah. Information about this? I wish there was more to say. Thanks for having my back. I wish there was more to say. All right, I think we cleaned out what we could clean out here at this place after taking them out. So we're going to head back to the helipad and then get off to the new location. We are flying into our new location. This one's going to be a pretty big facility, it looks like, honestly. Uh, we have a vest, some boots, and I believe some type of assault rifle. We'll go ahead and check that out. It's going to be the other menu. Uh, it's going to be an assault rifle, which is the AUG. I have not got that weapon, so I'm actually really eager to get that weapon a pair of boots and a new vest already a new vest which is interesting because i usually get vest every so often i think they have a sniper up in the hill here oh shit oh shit okay we have touchdown we got one oh i think it's two guys up in the hill up here we got a, a silencer right there That is not my regular <laughs> scope that I like. I don't even think I customized this. Uh, suppressor. This menu probably could have been done a little different. You know what I mean? Like they could have figured out a, a better way to do this menu. Because it gets very touchy at some moments. To the point where it's a little exhausting. Okay, they're about 240 meters up. I'd have some pretty direct shots if I want to take them out. I don't think they could alert everyone. There we go. Oh. I don't think they dropped anything. Most prone camo. We got a helicopter coming. It's flying right over us, dude. I think they might have called in some backup. That could not, uh, that could be the case, but I'm not really sure. Wow, look at that freaking drone uh, depository thing. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Let's get out of this shit. So this sniper's not really the best. It doesn't really uh, pack too much of a punch, which I like snipers that have a punch. Oh, another drone. I don't think it's going to be... Oh, wow. Okay. Insta just got that. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. What did we get up to with that? 111. We just got a new vest, and they already put me up to 111 on that fucking cry vest. Wow. Cool. I'll take it. No, don't go steer the plane. So this place is looking pretty big. We've got... I don't... I, I think, I guess, one of them then was on that little drone thing. Oh, there's going to be a ton of guys here. I can feel it now. It's the huge, huge facility. Groups of twos walking around and stuff. People sitting on top of buildings. They got snipers. They probably got a lot of set of snipers here, honestly. 
Got another guy here at the front gate. Two guys at the front gate. Another guy right there. Another guy trailing not too far behind. One guy that's about to walk in here, I think. Yep. What are they? 107? Yeah, we're... They are literally following, like, my average for rank here. So that's getting a little scary. But I think we got this. I wonder if there's anyone on this oil refinery. This would be a pretty nice sniper spot. Oh, on the low end. That's a little weird. The rest of the guys have to be inside these buildings. We've got some robots. Probably someone under this canopy here, but I really can't see them. We got an automatic turret. Uh, that's going to be a uh, mortar. Which those are just lovely when it's not even a person shooting them. It's just, you know, whoever. A freaking computer program that's about to blow your ass up. Okay, I think we did all we can do. That's the unit leader. So I guess if we take him out, why does this thing have a time? Oh, no, it's just a time in general. Okay, that helped with getting some people, though. Oh, another guy sniping. And there's probably going to be another one inside this building, but I'm not seeing him and he's not coming outside, so I'm not going to really mess with him. I want to stay as high up as possible. That way I'm not really getting in anyone's way, alerting them. Okay, well, I think that's good enough for now. Usually I like to get as many as I can, but I'd say that was pretty damn good. We're sitting at uh, 374 meters. I don't even know how much bullet drop would be on that. 500 meters. That's... Let me see here. That has so much bullet drop, it would be like this. I want to hit that top of the roof. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. About half that. Okay, I mean, I'm getting there. Four eighty one. I just want to try it for shits and giggles. Ah, oh, he's walking. I guess I could try it on this guy just to sort of see. We're at three seventy one. I would say a little click up, especially if we had that much bullet drop before. I need to steady out the shot though. God damn it! Wow! Holy shit! Damn! Okay. Okay. I'm feeling pretty confident on this guy then, uh, whoever the guy is over here. He's sitting at about 516 meters. He's going to walk back to this corner. That's where we're going to attempt to take this guy out. We got Sim heading at, uh, Sim, him sitting at 269. We could probably take him out right now. Oh shit. Got him before he could alert. Okay, 515. So one, two click. We'll zoom in nice and steady. Got. Wow. Wow. 500 meters is two clicks down. I'm teaching myself how to be a fucking like elite sniper here. What the fuck is this? That's what I've been doing. I've been like, okay, if I need to hit this target without alerting everyone in the whole world, what do I do? How do I, how do I range find without having to shoot at him and miss and have him hear the bullet. So I just, I scan off to the right or left. I'll shoot, check out the drop, correct for the drop, try to get in the position that I want where I feel comfortable and then reline it up on the guy and take the shot. I'd say it's working, okay? I'd say it's pretty much working at this point. Uh, so we've got pretty much all the top guys that are going to cause us issues. So we're going to go ahead and move in now. Uh, we're going to keep the helicopter there because at this point, we don't want to alert anyone when we've done such a good job sniping. 
I think we're going to have a few more people that we could get. These guys right here. See, I don't want to take them out and then have to worry about... Um, I don't think this is a bolt action, too, so I could just pop a round off, and then that's go time. I'm going to get him. Got him. Shit. He's going to call it out. Calling it out. You pansy. How does that feel? Three bullets to your head. You little girl. All right, let's see if... Uh, we don't get alerted. Let's see, is this guy going to really run across the map or is he getting in a truck and bouncing because he thinks I really want skill credits? Dude, dip for all I give a shit. All right, we're hitting the place. If they know I'm here, then we're just going to go ahead and hit it. We're not going to regret it. I know we're under attack, so it's go time at this point. We're going to move in for a uh, strategic assault. We've got enough ammo for this. Might as well get more while I'm uh, moving through. Someone's inside there or on top of the building. I don't know which one it is, but I cannot get in there. Watch yourselves. You have hostiles nearby. There he is. He's going to be just in here, but I'm not sure where. We got enemies in the area. They came to play. One more. Down. Clear. Get their shit. Okay. That was nothing. We got one guy. I don't want to hit the civilian, but I feel like it's going to get real. That was an accident. It was not intentional. One more around the corner. I'm going to go for him. He's down. Okay, so they don't know I'm officially here yet, but... That little bit of uh, shit kind of just got me in. Uh, a little bit of hot water there. They almost found out where I was. But we're solid. Oh, here we go. He's down. We just alerted because that did not have a silencer. I got to get a reload. I need that assault rifle. I'm going to go back to automatic. That way we know we don't have any issues here. What is that drum sound that's like... Oh, is it me? Yeah, that's... I was like, I knew that's what it sounded like, dude. Like, what the fuck? All right, we're moving in. We got a guy to the left. We might make contact with him, but nope, we're going to be good. We're covered. I'm going to move around this corner here. He's just, he's, I think he's on the other side of this little wall. We got company. He is. Stay focused. I'm moving here. How far is this guy? 136.44. Fuck you. We got it. Okay, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Yeah, earn it. Earn it, motherfucker. Let's go. We're going to keep an eye on the area behind us. I don't know where he's at. I need to get some backup and retreat. And then we're going to come around on the other side. He should be right around this thing. Oh. I let it spray. I let it spray. We got another tango on that other side. I had no idea he was popped up right there, dude. I swear to God. I did not see him. I was like too content looking down that hallway. I don't know why I sprayed like that, too. I know that controlled shots are way better than just fucking like spraying and praying up in this bitch. Oh. I was like, he just had syringes that I got, but I was... Oh, there's still another one. He's down, he's down, and he's down. Confident in this game now, dude. And these are higher S levels. They ain't shit. 
We got one more. He seems to be running in from that crate that's just southbound. Go ahead and try to see if we can pop over this and get him. That's probably a bad idea. I'm going to have to go all the way back around. We got two in there. We should probably get them. Unless they're robots. No, he's over there. Two in that building. Let's just get this crate thing. I'm probably going to see my ass coming up on the roof here. Oh, my bad. I'm going to need some water, too. We're kind of at that point where uh, we're getting a little dehydrated. All right, let's get these guys. Can't shoot through that, unfortunately. Was really hoping I'd be able to. Oh, he's moving. Shit. I gotta retreat because <laughs> they're not making this easy. Got him. Another one's coming out. Another one's coming out. Oh, ho, ho. we're still not done yet. Oh, oh, oh. We're good. Oh, got a little worried there for a second. Where's this damn crate? There it is. I thought I had got everyone, but there were still three guys left. Three guys. And another vest. That was the one that I originally went for, I think. But that other guy dropped one as well, too. Everyone's dropping shit. I don't mind, though. We got hostiles around the perimeter. It's still not over. There's four guys. One uh, one more left, but four in total. I want to say that drop is on this roof. Oh, no, right here. That other guy's just around this corner here, so we should probably be a little careful instead of getting all these crates. But that was like one of the last crates. Ooh, dog. He's going to be in here. I'm going to go close quarter because I don't know what I'm going to expect. So I'd rather have something I can uh, work with fast. Okay, let's go ahead and move up on this guy. I want to stealth attack him. If not, we'll have the, uh, the handgun ready. <laughs> I like the way he does that. Look at that. Contact. Enemy contact. Copy. That's a rough, rough way to go out right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is rough. We had an ammo drop. Okay, I think we got everything that we could pretty much get. We got actually one crate left and most likely going to be on the tallest building tucked away in the corner. Oh, no, on ground level. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. These were some good clear outs, though. Uh, I mean, honestly, when you just play the game enough to understand it, um, and then also get your gear level up. There's nothing that really holds you back, honestly. Ooh, the purple. I love the different colors and stuff, too. It looks really cool. So I would assume once we get uh, a little higher, we're going to actually finally unlock the yellow bars, which is going to be pretty cool. Nothing really I want to change my weapons for right now. Uh, but we do have plus one for the reverse hat. And then plus one for that. And plus two for these. Yeah, I think my guy's looking really good. I like the way he's, uh, he's dressed right now. Looks very official. Almost like a, uh, you know, United States military of some sort. Or like private army. So that is what's up. But that is going to be where we end this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of Breakpoint Ghost Recon, to be exact. And we will see you next episode. Hey.